Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tracy here. Since the Pillow Talk line came out, we've heard so much about Charlotte Tilbury on Instagram and YouTube. So I want to take just two minutes of your time, I'm going to keep it as short as possible, to talk about some of the other Charlotte Tilbury products. But first let's look at Pillow Talk, the eyeshadow quad for a second. So you have Prime, Enhance, Smoke, and Pop. I really have been enjoying these colors, but let's talk about Pop for a second. There's Glitter Fallout. Um, I've tried, okay, Glitter Fallout is when you put it on your eyes and it falls under your onto your cheeks and, un, and it's just all over the place and it's not good. Uh, I, I don't want to assume that everybody knows. Um, I've tried with different primers. Um, I've tried putting just a tiny bit. There's glitter palette. I mean, I still love the palette. It's a beautiful palette. I'm glad that I have it. I would buy it again if I didn't. Um, but there is fallout. Okay. Also, Pillow Talk, I have the lip liner. I had, I had the lipstick too, but I think my daughter took it, which is fine. <laughs> Um, it's a lovely, a lovely color. It's, it's, I think it's their best seller. It's pink with a bit of peach, so it's just slightly coral. Uh, so, and it's a very good lip liner. No complaints there. And this is Wonder Glow. It's a primer. Um, it's, gets full of fingerprints. It's, it gives you just a little bit of glow under your foundation. This is one of their better products if you're going to splurge. I really do love this one. Um, I'm trying to go fast. Uh, this is their face. Uh, it's called Charlotte's Magic. What is it called? Charlotte's Magic Cream. I was not planning to buy this at all because I have the Drunk Elephant products and I need to use them up but I was in the store and as I was saying to the lady no no I don't she just took some and put it on my hand and just started massaging into my hand and I couldn't believe how good my hand looked uh, so this is a lovely product I mean if you're in your teens or your early 20s I I don't know I don't want to act like I know everything when I don't I don't know if you would need to spend the money on this but if you're starting to get a little bit older you might want to look at look into this. It really is a lovely product and it does help your appearance. Next, here are two blushes. Uh, this is First Love. It's a very, if you're not uh, very fair skinned, I don't know if this is going to work on you, but if you're very fair and you're always trying to find something that's not too pigmented, this could be a dream come true for you because it really is very lovely. It's smoothing, blurring effect on the skin. And you have where you would put over your entire cheek and then this, the center, you would put it just sort of on the apple of your cheek. Uh, so this is Love Blush, very subtle. This is Ecstasy. It's also subtle, but it's a little bit more. Uh, it's more coral. There's the tiniest, tiniest bit of finely milled shimmer. I don't even know if you would call it shimmer or satin. So this is uh, First Love and Ecstasy Blush. Um, this is their finishing powder in number two medium. And while I have this in my hand, I want to show you, this was, this was um, the limited edition for the Nordstrom annual sale this year. I believe at this moment there are still some that are available. So the, the medium finishing powder is this is the same one but it's still good for travel you have two blushes that are called pretty blush and summer blush and you have your um you have two highlighters that are simply called here they are simply called glow this is a great travel palette um, very sturdy packaging if you want to look into that you, you'll have to be quick though and this is the instant look in a palette it really is. I use this when I travel. I leave it by the door in the hotel room with a brush and I just, 
when I need to, because it just doesn't end. When you, you go out for lunch and you meet people and you go out for dinner and you're constantly freshening up your makeup. This is ideal for that. And it's ideal for travel. It is, again, very subtle if you're fair skinned. But it's, this looks blue, but when you put it on, it doesn't look blue. It just looks like a softer black. So, uh, you're, again, your, um, swish and pop blush and your, your bronzer and your highlighter. And you have three eyeshadows. A really lovely palette. Uh, I, I highly recommend it for travel. It's wonderful. Okay. Next is the, Filmstar Bronze and, I want to say it correctly, Filmstar Bronze and Blush Glow. I use this one in summer because I find, it says on the internet that this one is, let's just bring this guy in, this guy we're going to talk about, it's very important. It says on the internet that this is a lighter uh, bronzer than this one. I find it to be darker, so I use it in summer, and I use this one in winter, and the blush, as dark as it looks, if you go on softly, it's really very subtle and it's very lovely for pale skin. Okay. Okay, this I want to talk about. If you're going to get any of the Charlotte Tilbury products, get this one. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. Okay. The colors, there's a darker version too, I, I want to mention. And it's lovely. I almost bought it, but it was just a little too dark for me. It's just lovely. I would use it as eyeshadow. I don't know. It's just, oh, it took all that I could to leave it there. Um, and another thing that I do with this, which sounds weird, but you should try it if you have this palette. You start by putting this all over your lids, all the way up to your brow. And you put this in the crease. The colors together, I don't know what it is. They're just made to go together. Um... It's, it's great for just, I just, it, the color is so neutral. You can contour it or you can use it as a bronzer. I love this. I think this is one of my favorite products that I own. It's quite expensive, but I really feel that this one's worth it. I don't want to keep you all day because I know it's getting long. So I'll say goodbye for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Take care and I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye for now.